Hi everyone, this is Theo from Parkablocks.com. In today's video, I'm going to feature a new product line from Benu Pen. So this was sent to me by Benu Pen. They have recently released a new product line called the Supreme Collection. Let's take a look at the pen. So this is the packaging, which is really simple. It's just a simple cardboard box with shredded paper. Let's take a look at the note and see what it says. The note here talks a bit about the design. So the body uses non-toxic, high quality resin. It's supposed to be durable, but you should avoid strong shocks or avoid dropping it because the material may still break. It's supposed to be durable and scratch resistant. The Supreme Collection is the third product line from Banu Pen. The other two product lines are Minima and Essence. Now this product line is going to be released on a crowdfunding website. So if you want to check out more details or see what other colors are available, you can visit the links in the video description below. And right now I want to compare this with the other product lines. This is the Essence Collection. So the Essence Collection has a more rounded design. The Minimar is also rounded, but with the Essence, there are grooves on the cap and also the end point here. Main differences between Supreme and Essence would be, well, the cap here, it has clip. The design is more cylindrical. The other difference is the nib. Supreme has a larger nib, while the other has a smaller nib. So this is what I would consider a normal fountain pen size nib. The good thing about having a pen cap with a clip is you can put this on the table without it rolling around. But with the Minima or the Essence Collection pens, they roll around quite easily. So be careful not to have them roll off the table. The design of the Supreme is almost cylindrical. The end here is smaller compared to the cap. Let's measure the length of this pen. So with the cap on, it measures about 13 centimeters. And with the cap posted behind, it's about 16.5 centimeter. It's a rather lightweight pen, but it's not too light. I think it's just nice enough. I probably would not use it with the cap behind because I like to use my fountain pens without the cap. Now the design with the cap on, I don't know, but it feels a bit weird to me. So the lines, it goes up, down, and then up like this. So I actually prefer to use it like this. The body is smooth and glossy. Beneath the surface is some sort of texture. There is some slight shimmer, but that's because of the light that is pointed to it. So this is the cap, the clip, this is the brand, Banu, engraved on the cap. Let's take a look inside. This pen comes with an ink converter. This is the twist type ink converter. This is the design on the nib. Here it says Schmidt Iridium Point. That's the feed section behind. Let me remove the converter. You can actually detach the nib from the grip section just by twisting it. I'm not sure if I can dismantle this further. Let me put all this back together. The name of this particular pen, this blue color model, is called Azure. And now I'm going to load some ink into the pen. Let's test out the nib. This is a medium nib. 
it's quite smooth on the paper so this is the name of this particular pen this particular blue azure it writes quite smoothly let's try and draw something with this The nib is very stiff, there is no flex whatsoever. Performance of the nib is really predictable, very consistent. Overall, this is a decent fountain pen for writing. The build quality is good. The design of the pen is a bit different compared to all the other fountain pens that I have because of this, this shape. This is quite unusual for me. I'm not sure if I prefer this shape or the usual torpedo shape fountain pens. At the time of this review, this pen is not available on Banu Pen's website yet. As mentioned earlier, this is going to be released on a crowdfunding website. So if you want to find out more information, you can visit the link in the video description below. And also in the video description, there are additional links to other fountain pens that I have reviewed. You might want to check them out. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye.